Eastern Leader Shrimp. Today's focus is talking about this ISO pump. So for a lot of years and a lot of training, you see people doing full range of motion and reps, which is really good. You will also see people doing isometric movements, which is basically holding a position of a movement and holding it and squeezing it. What I've done, I've kind of made a convergence of the two things where you've exhausted your muscle uh, using the full range of motion, which is always good. So just always keep in mind whenever you're doing any kind of workout, the greater the range of motion, the greater the stress on the muscle, and therefore the greater opportunity for development, not only in strength, but in shape and in muscle density. So for instance, if I'm doing curls, and I go from here to here, I'm limiting the strain, and I'm not getting the full opportunity of the exercise. If I go all the way down, all the way up, I'm creating a better opportunity to work that muscle. So, that being said, when you work that full range of motion, it creates fatigue and muscle breakdown. What I have discovered is when I get to my point of fatigue, whether you're doing drop sets or you're just hitting those higher rep numbers, when you just drop and you rest, you've come, you're um, letting go of this magical moment of where your muscle's at. So what I'm meaning is like, you've got full on fatigue, you have nowhere to go. And so what I do is I take this fatigue muscle, instead of just letting it rest and going for the next step, I keep it in a state of fatigue. I take out this long range of motion and I affect the fibers in a different way. So you're actually having an isometric kind of a stationary hold, but I'm creating an additional pump on the muscle with a low range. And you can even drop that weight if you needed to. So if you have seen me do the curls before, you can see where I drop all the way down, all the way up. I exhaust the muscle, then I hold here. And I create this opportunity for these little kind of like doors opening and closing. It creates a pump, yes, in the bicep, but all these accessory muscles in my shoulder, my chest, my back. You can apply this ISO pump to raises, right? I'm raising, I'm raising, I get fatigued, I'm almost out of steam, I hold, I go forward and back. So again, creating that additional opportunity to break down the muscle tissue and create really good dense shape. I kind of call it muscle cardio. I want stamina in your muscles. So whether you're doing this as an application for sport um, or you just want to create a long lasting shape in your body, which is really what I'm after these days. Uh, I'm uh, you know, gonna be turning 40 soon, so for me, that's why I do it. So it's a greater intensity and a lower load over more time so you get more out of those reps. Because the way you really gotta look at it is, uh, think about any kind of lifting. If you have like 15 reps in a set, you know, the first seven kind of get you tired and the last eight are the really hard ones. Same with this. Let this be what primes your body and then really work that ISO pump. You could do it that way, but another great one is just presses. I'll get kind of a little, a better angle for you here. You can do shoulder presses where you're here and you're pressing whether you're here or you're out or you're doing Arnold's. I want you here, then you can ISO here. So I'm making that only that shoulder really work and I'm gonna kind of create that movement through the range of motion. If you wanted to apply it to bench, I like to do it on my flies. Right, we're down here, we're doing nice dumbbell flies. And we get here, and we're doing this little range of motion. If you could stand over me, I'm literally only going this far. We're not going crazy on range of motion, like I said, but really nailing down that pump and that, that very specific area of your muscle. You wanna take it to legs? Buster Rhymes in the house. Another great way to do it, so if you're doing, a little more room here for us. If you're doing lunges, right, and we're gonna go down and up, down and up, what you can do is when you get your pump over with, whether you've got a front rack, whether you're walking lunges, whether you're doing reverse lunges or forward lunges, get to here, keep your weight, and slide forward and back. And if you look at my feet, they're not moving. I'm here and I'm pushing and pulling, letting those legs work. You can do a pulse. Either way, you're gonna start to feel that stretch. And as I said, that kind of muscular conditioning in those muscle bellies that will uh, not only create strength, stamina, density, shape, but the mental toughness that comes with it as well is gonna be a lot of fun. Trust me that you can do more than you think you can. And if at any point you're feeling exhausted and you can't really keep it going, drop the weight and keep the ISO pump going. And just squeeze, you can squeeze your fists or grab the ground with your feet, really engage and just keep moving. So 
This is one of my little secrets I've held on for a lot of years, um, but it does my body really good. And my favorite thing about it, it's good for any age, any level of person, whether you're a super advanced athlete or a beginner, whether you're older. I mean, my parents are in their 70s and these are great exercises for them because it creates a lot of safety around movements and weight training that create more strength and security around your joints, uh, confidence in your ranges of motion and control. Um, so anyway, that's about five minutes uh, worth of ISO pump for you. I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon.